Okay, and welcome back. I'm going to show you how to find the equation of a line. So you'll need a slope formula, which is this right here, m equal y2 minus y1. And you'll need the point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equal to the slope, m, times the quantity x minus x1. And what you're going to do is you're going to plug a number into here. You'll plug a number into here. And you'll plug a number into here. So this will be your slope, and after everything's said and done, you'll end up with something that looks like this, the slope-intercept form, y equal mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept when x is 0, and the slope is in front of the x. Okay? So to kind of show you what's going on with this formula here and how it relates to this one, first of all, you'll be given two points. Okay? And sometimes you may not be given two points. There's three cases that I'm going to go over, but... For right now, let's say they give you uh, two ordered pairs. You have x1, y1, which represents one point, and, this means and, a second point, x2, y2. Okay, so this point 1 right here, the change that happens from, from this point 1 to this point over here, this point 2, is represented by this formula here, m equal the rise, which is my y2 minus my y1. Okay, so I'm taking y1 away from y2. Okay, so here's y2. If I take this little piece away from the whole segment, I'm left with just this small part here, which is this right here. That's on top of here. And then I'm subtracting basically this little line segment here, x1 up to here, away from this whole line segment, which is x2. So if I take this part out, I'm left with this segment right here, which is represented by this little brace right here. And this is my x2 minus x1. It's that distance. And that's what the slope is. Now, here's a point-slope formula. And there's an easy way to derive it from the slope formula. Let's say, for instance, you couldn't memorize this, but you could memorize this. A lot of people seem to memorize this. Well, in this case here, you can start like this, m equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now watch this. If you just multiply both sides by the denominator, x2 minus x1, and this side here, x2 minus x1, well, this cancels with that, and look what you got. x2 minus x1, that's that. The m is right here, and the y2 minus y1 is right here. It's just backwards. So I could have written the equal sign over here and just brought this over, okay, and put the m in front of here. But this is the same formula as this. And it doesn't even matter. You could just, you could leave it like this. The only difference is we don't have a 2 here or a 2 here because we only need one point. So there's three scenarios. You'll be given either two points, in which case here you use a slope formula, and then you use the point-slope formula after that. So what you do is you find the slope and then you plug that into the point slope formula. So you would use this formula here, m equal y2. While I'm writing this, you should write it down and memorize it because you'll need to use these pretty often actually. All throughout your algebra you'll need these. And in calculus too, you'll need it too. Um, and for this right here, you be given either one point and a slope so that means that they'll give you like it'll look something like this given some number like you know two three and a slope of you know four or m equal you know five or six or maybe even zero which will be a horizontal line if the slope is zero that'll be this but sometimes they may tell it to you, like, given the point 2, 3, and the horizontal line, okay, horizontal line, that's this right here. They're talking about that. Just put m equals 0. If they say vertical line, that's a different story, and I'll show you how to do that, but what that means is there's a line that goes perfectly straight up and down, and there's no, and basically what it means is this it crosses the x-axis somewhere. Here's your x, here's your y, here's your x-axis. It's a vertical line 
Okay, so at the point two three, so what you do is you plot the point, you know, one, two, and three going up, so it would be like right around here. So in that case, the equation of this line would be wherever the line crosses on the x-axis. So if you have a vertical line, kind of put your hand up and down and then and see which axis it crosses. It crosses the x, so in this case here, you say if it crosses the x, say x. Whatever it crosses, say it, x. It crosses the x, so x equal two. So that's, that's if it's a vertical line. Um, and this would be it right here. So that's kind of, I wouldn't say a trick problem, but that's a, that's a situation where a lot of people don't understand what to do there, but for the most part, unless the teacher specifies, um, you'll be given a point and a slope that you can work with. And what you do is you plug that into the point-slope formula. Okay, and then the last scenario that you'll be given really will be a point and another equation. So what you do is you isolate the y and get the slope in this other equation. And then what you do is you use the point-slope formula and you plug in the, the slope you get from here and the point that you were given. So let's show you uh, an example here.